The car I am driving today has heated seats, two cup holders, wireless phone charger, wireless CarPlay. It can drive in electric mode. It's a plug-in hybrid. It also has power opening doors like a minivan, but it also makes 1,500 horsepower and has a top speed of 251 miles an hour. It's a Koenigsegg Regera. Koenigsegg builds some of the fastest cars in the world, and without a doubt, some of the cars that feature the most innovative cutting edge technology out there. I've had the honor of meeting Christian von Koenigsegg multiple times, and every time I ask him a question about the cars and technology, he takes the time to explain in such amazing detail the passion, the genius to create a vehicle that can do things that no other car in the world can do. And today I get to drive one of his creations. This is the Regera. It is a hybrid hypercar, a mega car. It makes 1.1 megawatts of power, 1500 horsepower. There are 80 in the world. And this is a more luxury hyper GT oriented, much more solid, a lot of creature comforts, but with the performance compared to something like the Agera, which is the more top speed, hardcore, lightweight focused one. This is the one you might want to daily drive if you can daily drive a Koenigsegg. We need to talk about the powertrain. I've mentioned that top line number, 1500 horsepower, but this has a remarkable cutting edge powertrain. It's honestly, I think to explain it properly, you need a PhD in mechanical engineering, but I will do my best. So this is a hybrid, a plug-in hybrid. The engine is a bespoke Koenigsegg developed five liter all aluminum twin turbo V8. That twin turbo V8 on its own will produce 1,100 horsepower. And then paired with three electric motors that produce a total combined output of 670 horsepower, the total power output for this car is 1500 horsepower. Engine is also flex fuel rated, so you can run on an ethanol E85 for even more power because it has higher octane. So obviously power is plentiful in the Koenigsegg Regera. But what's even more impressive is Koenigsegg Direct Drive. This car does not have a transmission. Yeah, you might be very confused by that statement because how does it move if it does not have a transmission? No transmission at all, which has some benefits. It obviously saves on weight, which is an enemy of performance. It also eliminates some parasitic losses. The transmission is a significant cause of parasitic losses, getting the power from the powertrain itself to the engine, to the ground, to the tires, to the wheels. So no transmission. Yeah, it has what they call Hydro Coupe, which is the world's fanciest, most advanced, bespoke, all billet aluminum torque converter. And that has the ability to lock up and is able to transfer the power from the internal combustion engine to the rear wheels. But it effectively is like driving a car in seventh gear, top gear. The final drive ratio of the Koenigsegg Regera is the same as the seventh gear in a Agera. So imagine trying to leave in seventh gear, right? There's not enough torque. You wouldn't be able to move. That's where the electric motors come in. There's three, one on each rear wheel that provides torque vectoring, but also power, obviously. And then there's one on the crankshaft by the engine that will provide instant torque at zero RPM. And that's what gets the car going. It uses the electric motors as the torque converter is coming in. And that's, it just goes. I've driven the car briefly already, and it feels unlike anything else out there simply because of that Koenigsegg direct drive system with the hydro coupe torque converter, the batteries, uh, the electric motors pairing with that crazy twin turbo V8. It's bizarre, but so awesome. Let's talk about the exterior and the styling. Well, it's remarkable. It's gorgeous. But first, we're going to show you one of the coolest, the party piece for the Koenigsegg Regera. It has something they call auto skin, where every panel will open at the touch of a button on the key fob. You see the doors open right now. That's the signature Koenigsegg doors. I call them Koenigsegg doors because the full name is something like Dihedro Auto Helix something. It's, it's something crazy. It's the most technical term in the world, but they're Koenigsegg doors. They swing out and on the Regera, they are automatic. So I tap the button and it will close. You'll watch it rotate close. And the wing mirror will fold itself back out. So now everything is closed up on the Regera, till I double tap the Ghost logo 
on the key fob and watch this. It goes into transformers mode. The rear wing is actuating there. That rear wing, all carbon fiber, is multi-position. It can operate as an air brake. It can also drop down for low drag mode. You'll see the front trunk opening up right now. That entire rear clamshell opens up. And you can see that blue carbon fiber, just amazing. And there it is, the doors are open. So now the entire Regera is opened up and you can see the front trunk here. This is where you would put the roof. The roof does come off, it is a convertible. It slides in here and the details, it's, you can see all the exposed carbon fiber. You can see the titanium bolts holding everything together. It's a work of art. This one is a combination of black carbon fiber exposed and exposed blue carbon fiber over the white paint. The headlights here feature what Koenigsegg calls the, the constellation lights, which is just a scattering of DRLs within the entire headlight enclosure there. And we have the two circular lights. One does a turn signal, one is the headlight itself. And there's a little fan in there too that is supposed to keep condensation out of the headlight enclosure so you don't get any of the negative effects of that. And then you can see that exposed carbon fiber through the headlight itself. We can double tap the front trunk button here and that'll close the hood whereas the doors will remain open. We've got a canard up front, the carbon fiber front splitter. You can option carbon fiber wheels on the Regera. This one doesn't have them, just has the aluminum wheels, the doors, all of it. It just has everything you would want out of a hypercar looking at it. The huge rear closure, that's how you have to fuel the car up. So you go to the gas station, you have to open the entire rear engine compartment. And as if the car didn't attract enough attention already, imagine you pull up to a gas station, and I wish I actually will have to do in a moment because it's running low on fuel. Uh, you open the door, everybody's like, wait, what? And then you open the entire rear hatch. That's ridiculous. Underneath there is more artistry and engineering. You, it's all carbon fiber. You can see there's inverters there. There's where you put coolant in. There's an EV cooling system around back under the diffuser there. There's a big center exit exhaust, which you might think is the engine exhaust, but it's not. That's for the EV system. That's where hot air leaves. So it's an exhaust of sorts for the electrical system, the motors. And then on the side, you got these two thin vertical oriented uh, titanium exhaust. That's the engine exhaust. So it just, Unlike anything else out there, I've said that about some cars, but this car is really, there's nothing else in the world that can compare to a Codex Egregera. This is the next level hypercar, a mega car. And with that, let's hop in it. We're gonna take it for a drive. We'll talk about the interior, cause it is quite impressive. We'll talk about what it's like to drive, which is also quite impressive. And we'll lastly, we'll talk about the value. It's obviously very expensive, extremely expensive, unfathomably expensive. <laughs> All right, we are in the Coding Segregera on the road. The interior of this car is honestly remarkable. I mean, at the price point, you expect it to be phenomenal, but a lot of cars at this hypercar, the top tier supercar level, they're built in the pursuit of performance, speed, track focus. So they strip out the interior. Yeah, it's filled with carbon fiber and titanium and Alcantara, but they don't have any of the creature comforts this car does. This is a hypercar, a mega car that was designed to be more luxurious. We have wireless CarPlay. You can put your phone in not one, but the two wireless charging pads to recharge your iPhone. So there's two wireless charging pads. My phone is sitting in there right now. It has heated seats. They're six-way adjustable. They're heated with the adjusting of the mirrors too. Everything is in the touchscreen here. You simply tap the bottom corner and it pulls up the controls for adjusting your seats. Everything in here is either leather, some sort of machine metal, or carbon fiber. It's phenomenal. Feels nice and solid, high quality, luxury interior in a coating sag. And it's a very different touch take from something like the UGG era, which is much more stripped out. The sound system in this is quite nice too. A lot of headroom space, visibility is pretty good. The, the paddle shifters are, I guess I call them paddle shifters, but they're more like the transmission selector are made of metal. The turnstock indicators are metal. Everything here is just so nice and it's just all carbon fiber or metal. Coming across the center console, we have that touchscreen, which controls pretty much everything. If that goes bad, you're in trouble because that's everything from headlights to your seat adjustability to obviously your drive settings, your infotainment, like it's all in this touchscreen. We do have some buttons here in the middle. There's a rotary volume knob, but below here we have the big engine start stop button, which on first click, will start in EV mode. It's like an EV sneak mode. You kind of move around like a golf cart, essentially. It has a max speed of six miles an hour, but it's silent mode. You press it one more time, and that five liter twin turbo V8 fires off, and you get this deep rumble of just power. 
We have window switches, we have the door opening, we have the front hood opening, the front trunk, and also the rear hood, the rear clamshell. You can press those buttons, everything opens and closes um, via this center control here. And it's got the shape of like the coating sex shield there. We have two cup holders. This car has two cup holders. That's more practical than many like supercars. The roof panel comes out. There's this opening window on the roof panel too. Amazing interior, honestly. I have another video where I spent uh, the entire time just walking around the car, checking out the details, showing you the close-up details. So definitely go check that one out. Downshifting, there's no getting in the right gear, you just roll in the throttles. That's unlike anything I have ever, ever experienced. I talked about it briefly already, but the way it works is that 670 horsepower of electric power is the initial. It operates both as torque fill and it helps spool the engine up for the turbos to get in because it, it does have pretty small turbos compared to the, or smaller turbos in the Agera, but it's still, I mean, a big turbocharged V8, five liter V8 that makes 1100 horsepower. And that helps assist, get it into the power band. And then it just hands off as the hydro coupe torque converter locks in to the driver. What does it feel to me? You just press more. The more you press, it just goes. It's just this wave, this effortless shove of power, and it keeps going. So that's like half throttle, maybe? And the blow-up valve noises. And then when you load off, there's no downshifting. It just ramps down. It has regen with the electric motors. <laughs> What in the world? This car, when it released, held the world record for the fastest zero to 250 and then back to zero. It did something like zero to 250 miles an hour in 22.87 seconds. And that's the brilliance of the setup. It's remarkable. I'm driving a Konus Egregera. There are 80 of these in the world. And this is one of the most remarkable, bizarre, pieces of engineering ever. Battery system is actually quite a small battery. It's effectively Formula One grade in terms of power density and the ability for the charge and discharge power. 10 times as fast as the conventional electric vehicle battery. When you use the turn signals, you get a little Koenigsegg light up orange uh, logo in the wing mirrors too. It, it's all the details, they hit everything. Only other hypercar I have driven is a McLaren P1, and that feels much more racy, lightweight. This feels much more solid. So I see what they mean with the, the more Grand Touring GT type of vehicle, but with that tremendous power still. YYYRBC also feel a little more delicate, right? They got the cool active arrow and stuff, but it's just, it, it feels much lighter than this. this. This is closer to Chiron, where it's just a fast couch, but I feel like it's also more dynamic, but none of them have this direct drive thing. You have to experience this to understand it. And that's a terrible statement because very few people in the world will ever get to experience a coding segregator, so it's obviously my job to try to convey it to you. There's 80 of these in the world. My hands are shaking a little bit. Roll on. This thing would light the rear wheels up if you just got into it and you have to respect this amount of power. 1,500 horsepower. That's three times the horsepower of my R8. But you should talk about value. I told you I would talk about value. Well, I think base press is like 1.9 or 2.2 million when these were brand new. With a car at this level, options are bespoke and effectively endless. Whatever color you want, tinted carbon fiber. This has tinted blue carbon fiber. There's full exposed carbon fiber builds. People put 24 karat gold all over the cars. You do essentially what you want to do with this car. In terms of the price now to buy a car like this, $3 million? Like it doesn't feel like reality to me anymore. What is the difference between a $3 million car and a $4 million car? So yeah, can I say this is a, a great value? In terms of being able to get a car that has a powertrain that is so different from anything else out there, the holistic feeling of the solid construction of the vehicle, the engineering, the art, the design, and then the creature comforts. Yeah, actually, I think this is a, a good value in the hypercar space. We're at such an echelon that it 
logic is no longer a factor. This is a Koenigsegg. There's no other way to describe it. It's a Koenigsegg. So some of my final thoughts on a Koenigsegg. Very different from anything I've ever driven. Unbelievable power. Ready? static is an experience right opening the doors opening everything up with the regera seeing the details under a hood how the suspension is you could spend hours and hours just i will plan on spending hours and hours drooling over this car and then we plugged it in we parked in the garage there's a level two charger plug it into the rear there's also a trickle charger up front and in, regard, in that regard it's just a plug-in electric vehicle you get in and start it up. It's got the sensor. It's got the surround view camera. It has front lift, which goes up very easily. You have the flexibility to be able to take the top off. If it was warm out, you have a convertible experience in your Koenigsegg too, top down. Stores in the front trunk, so you can bring it with you. If it gets a little cold, you put it back up. They've really just thought of done everything. There's not a single thing I could complain about with this car. Let me think for a quick second. Uh, I mean, ignoring price, obviously, and like maintenance and things like that. Perfect. What would you want? I don't know. You know, I'm gonna do this now. One more. One more. Maybe one more. Maybe a couple more. Pull in. I forgot to mention, you have to put the key on this, this little magnet section to the left of the steering wheel that is an outline of the key kind of molded in there and then you, you put the key and that's the immobilizer and once it's in there, you can start the car. We're in the world of hypercars right now and yes, the numbers get staggering but i truly think that vehicles at this level they transcend their price points it's just a something beyond it's pushing what humankind can do in terms of engineering minds and artistry and the design and power and performance right it's just money is no object what can we absolutely just create that pushes the boundaries of automotive engineering what a machine i hope you enjoyed my review of a koenigsegg regera I, since I dearly hope I'll get more time with this car and I'm, I'm gonna try to make that happen to show you more things. Check out the other video too. I did a stationary walk around where I open up everything, show all the details, interior, exterior, talk about some of the tech specs too. But there it is. What was it like to drive a Koenigsegg Regera? One of the coolest experiences of my life ever and just unlike anything else out there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for all the support. Thanks for watching.